you hear a lot about toxic masculinity, and I only use that phrase once in the book to, to explain why I tend to avoid it. And it's because, and bear with me, this will sound very harsh, um, the, the reason I don't say toxic masculinity is because it implies there's something good about masculinity. Now, I'm not down on men. I think men are terrific. Men can be magnificent. Men can behave disgracefully. Men like women, where most of us are just these farty humans going around trying to have a reasonable life and not causing too much harm and frying eggs and, you know, just being a person. Um, but masculinity, the way you're supposed to perform it, I just don't know what it... I mean, what is it apart from... What does it add up to apart from being not woman? Uh, you know, leather wallets, medallions, driving gloves. I mean, it, just all this stuff... <laughs> Just all of this kind of stuff from the last century, or, or certainly from the 1970s, in those, in those examples. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it means. I mean, what are masculine virtues? I mean, to take um, Kipling's poem "If," for example, which I'm very fond of, but stuff like stoicism and grace under pressure and physical courage—that's all great. It's just that I've spent my life noticing these virtues being demonstrated by women as well, and you know. Certainly, if you've seen somebody give birth, you very quickly lose the idea that grace under pressure or physical courage are exclusively male uh, virtues. So I don't, know what, I don't know what the word is really doing.